And we shall stay. Yes, yes, okay. I really hope that the the hammer guy, the poison hammer guy, and the two knife throwing guys are the last of it. <laughs> more. Stop hitting me with the knives right in the middle of my swing! Please let that be it. Oh, thank god that was it. Tirso. I don't know who Tirso was. Who's this Tirso fellow? Tirso. Increases damage afflicted when health is at its maximum. Okay. That's a, like a Lloyd sword ring, I think it was, from Dark Souls. Hi, who are you? Are you the Rosary Lady? Please tell me the Rosary Lady. descends on my tile. It is their light that protects us in this shadowy corner full of old rosaries. Oh, my God. name is Sagraria. Nutting rosaries is my penance. And I cannot serve a more virtue if you give me the knot. Do you have rose now? Let Your rosary now. I actually knew exactly where to get another one. No, they're not. Okay, so currently I've got slightly increases resistance to all physical damage. It probably isn't very much. Concentrated Sphere of Guilt. Which should be useful if I'm dying a whole hell of a lot, because I probably will be. Uh, Vitrified Lightning Bolt. I'll put that on there for right now. I know exactly where to get another tier, uh, another rosary knot, so. There's more fucking gold up there. I was right, leads in there.
Wow, I hate that guy. I should have rested. I'm gonna go rest real quick. I only killed one guy, so... Wait, did I leave more guilt somewhere? Where the hell is all my guilt? I didn't die anywhere. Do I have to kill more people to get rid of my guilt? Because I will. I'll kill them all dead. Tears of Atonement. I am flush with cash today. My afflictum has not gone down. Damn it. That was perfectly timed, too. Hey, I finally got to the other side of this. Embossed rat skull. Just what I needed in my life. That's actually exactly what I needed in my life. But I'll come for that later. Right now, I've got to go down. That's called the express elevator. Forlorn patio. Penitent one, this is no place for anyone. Can you not see that death breathes the very air that dries our throats? That it walks in our footsteps? You cannot even hear the cries for the dead. For here, even crying is forbidden. I will remain in the shadows, sheltering behind these bars, 
so you cannot look upon my diseased countenance. But although no one has ever managed to find out who he really is, I can reveal to you her name. Castor. How ominous that name sounds when spoken in these shadowy enclaves. I may have something for you. If so, Oh, sweet. Remembrance of Castula. The Anointed One increases the strength of Veredicto, increases the strength of Sarmiento and Centella. Oh, that mu Okay, so that's where I get them. Um, if... Go on. Okay, yeah, I got more stuff to buy from the others. Okay, but uh, there was the... Something in here. I can't quite remember where it was. It might have been in here. It might have been somewhere over here. Uh, but uh, the actual... No, it was over here. The actual pickup spot for uh, Veredicto... Not Veredicto. The uh, Ruego al Alaba that I've got here. Um, the actual pickup spot for it, I got the bonus for like the 10% damage increase. I may have... So that's where I get these ones from. This is just a health upgrade, which... Yes, please. This is a new spell. Actually, the... Veredicto's pretty beefy. Yeah, I'll get beef right now. Go. No, I want to chat. I may have some. No, I you want. I may have some. Down to chat. There we go. Do you not notice how death it is my prison? My what sins? I am the cursed with the ever more bitter need to survive. I ended up steep. What crime can that leave me alone? And so it was that I managed to get into a house that appeared to be uninhabited. Inside, I found an elderly woman lying on her bed. She had been dead for some time. There was no one standing vigil over her. She was alone. Alone in the deep sleep of death. The fearful stench was so intense that it seemed to emanate from that rigid body and mingle with the light that drifted in through the immaculately pale curtains from the outside street lamps. It was the chamber of death itself. Oh, death. I robbed the old woman in her bed. I took from her what was no longer hers, but rather belong to death itself when i reached my hiding place oh what is this trembling you bring i robbed the old when i reached my what is this okay so that's everything you want no no i don't want anything right now uh but with you want your chalice that's very good i can use that don't know what to do with this one this one I can do, which makes me think. Yeah, I'll actually, head back up. Castilla. I think she and her brother were the Palace of Embroideries. I think they were in a two wide room. I think it was this one. Might have been this one. Either way, I've got to head back there. Make a quick pit stop here. 
Let's see how much the you? partisan useful stuff. Not what I need right now. There's the rats, the deformed rat skull. I got the better one. Twelve thousand for the abandoned rosary knot, and seventeen fifty just for another free mark of martyrdom. Okay. So. Not Don't need anything right now. Talk to this. Actually, first head down here. Still not quite sure how to get there. Probably something else. Maybe a secret room or something that pops up later. I will now happily I take a, a health upgrade. Excellent. I shall wait for thee. Bring me tell. Excellent news. It might be like a teleporter thing, like one of these things, but I don't know. This is a legend. Ah, oh, it's just a shop, okay. Got some more guilt for you to eat. So, so be it. The sacrum now go. Excellent news. I feel like I'm probably going to regret that down the line, like he's going to die or something and I won't be able to do it anymore. Didn't I pick up another thing from... Oh, no, I did not grab it. I grabbed the, uh... Where was it? I grabbed the... This thing instead. Frey. Castula. Allow me to bring. Now this actually gives me an idea. Tree phone. Where's Castula? Because they're facing each other. Hey, old ones eating soup. Reunite Castula with Tree phone. Okay, so yeah, that was that. Uh, what was the other thing I had? The altar be here. Having an extra one won't hurt. Uh, increases critical chance. Increases damage inflicted when the guilt level was low. May the hat. Okay. What was I doing? Uh, did I want to... Okay, well now I know where to get the rosary thing and increase my fervor, which is very, very nice. There's a thing over here, which I did not get because I couldn't quite jump far enough. 
this thing I think is still locked off by some, a gate that I have to get behind, which I don't know how to get to. Uh, let's head up back into the Aqueduct of Gustaves. Because I haven't actually gone in there all that much. Another baby. That one weird spot gives me pause. But I can't quite think what would do it. fucking indestructible. Silver, sh silver shell file. All right. I haven't got through here at all, so I probably got to go around this way, but. God, now I want to go back to Leonardo. <laughs> I really even genu- I genuinely can't remember what his actual name was, I'm just calling him Leonardo. That's just his name now. by freeing Bye fair baby
purified one. Long flat piece of iron with large teeth. These files are used by sculptors who work the wood for speedy filing and shaping. There it is. Increases fire damage. There's gotta be a bell around here somewhere. Oh shit. get to yet because I don't have the bell open which is right there which makes me think it probably leads back around chain that I can't break through. Just head back to the head to the hand teleporter. There it is. Head back to the head back to the city. Give the tool to the guy. See what it gives me. Does guy get anything? Just quick check. you a new tool. 
The file you bring is able to polish wood and leave it as smooth as the petals of dried flowers. Know that you have my gratitude, penitent one. You're welcome. May the hand See how much he did in the five seconds I was gone. Wow, that man can work quick. My hands attain virtue through obedience and constancy. I begin to feel them go numb, as if submerged into an icy sea. They move of their own accord. Now they are more of the miracle than of me. That's not a good thing, man. May the hands. Okay, I think I'm going to leave it there. Not a whole lot going on that episode, but I explored the Street Awakes, found some cool stuff. Got that guy, who's really, really grumpy about, you know, everything. I mean, I can't blame him. Dude's probably going through some shit. I explored up here a little bit more. Uh, pretty much cleared out the Choir of Thorns. Don't think there's anything else I gotta do. Found the two moons, found the high temples. Still gotta explore a little bit more in the Street of Wakes, because there's more stuff to kill, more stuff to find. Gotta go through here, see what's around here. It's probably just a block, but no. This definitely leads over here. Um, there's probably a triple jump ability. There's still the golden whatever thing ability that I gotta find. Golden traversal ability. Uh... I might just have to go fight this guy next, because I've already, you know, I've got a bunch of health upgrades, got a bunch of fervor upgrades, my flask's damn near full heal at this point. I think I might just have to suck it up and just go smack until he's dead. I got pretty close in my last couple of attempts, but... Either way, I'm gonna have to give it the old college try. Not a whole lot more I can do. But, uh, thank you all for tuning in, and if you liked what you saw, be sure to like and subscribe. If you didn't, don't do that and yell at me. But I will see you all in the next one.